How we doing? This is Fox back again for Sound Design Tutorials. Um, it's going to be a battery 4 quick tip today. Um, first time I've ever done anything like this. I'm going to show you how you can route individual cells to individual audio tracks in Ableton so that you can work on them outside of battery. It's really, really straightforward, really, really simple to do. I'll just show you this little MIDI clip I've got going here. This corresponds to everything inside battery. If you've used battery before, it works exactly the same as what a drum rack does in Ableton, only that the notes on the piano roll correspond to the, to the cells inside battery. I'm sure if you're looking at this you know what you're doing. Um, you can work inside battery, use all the effects and everything on each individual cell and then if you want to then get them outside of battery, which I personally do if I do use battery, uh, it's easy enough to do. So yeah, this is a little drum and bass beat I made quickly. <laughs> Real easy, real straightforward. So all you do, there is a 16 output pairs within battery itself. So you've got a chance to have 16 channels. Any more than that, you're gonna have to send them to a bus, if you get what I mean. Like if you're using more than one kick or more than one snare or more than one hat, once you've worked it inside battery, the best way to do that, if you've got more than 16, is send it to a channel itself. So what I'll do for now is I'll create a load of audio tracks. Well, I'll create one. What you do is, because it is an audio track, you're going to want to select the channel that battery is running on, which is 9 battery 4, change it to in, and then this box under here, these are all your stereo pairs. The first pair, 1 and 2, they don't show up because that is what the master for battery is assigned to. I generally don't mess around with that, I'll keep it. So in effect you've got 15, 3 and 4, 5 and 6, 7 and 8. So yeah, the first one, 3 and 4. If you duplicate it, five and six, seven and eight, and so on. I'm gonna do this all the way to the bottom. If you bear with me. There you go. So now, if I shrink these up a bit, now we've done all that. So it's real straightforward, as I say, audio. Choose where it's coming from at the top, which is battery. And then in the next one, you select which stereo pair you want it to come from. Make sure it's on in, and then it's going out to the master. <laughs> nothing shows up, nothing flashing up. I'll sh close all these up a sec. So we should have 15 here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen audio channels already already assigned to the area outputs of battery itself. Now all you need to do to assign each one to these audio channels. I'm gonna keep this running once I show you how to do the first one just to get them all done. All you do is use this first kick here. See the cell flashing up when it's triggered by a MIDI note. All you do is right click, go to output direct out stereo 3 and 4 is the first one now it's coming through to this audio channel here For some reason they come through quiet I mean when I do it I normally put a, a utility on every one just beef it up I don't know where that's gone put a utility
that's the first kick gone through. Because I've muted the battery four channel, you're only hearing what we're sending out, direct out. If I mute the battery so you can see. All I'm going to do now is assign each one of these in turn. I'm going to go from top to bottom of the ones that are flashing and assign them to corresponding MIDI channels. You'll start to hear them come in. Direct out. This is the second one. We've got two channels showing up now. Kick and snare. Go, it's as simple as that, and now you've got them. Okay, now you've got them all in outside of able outside of battery even though you got all these effects inside battery you can work on them individually like I say solo this I'd uh, always put an EQ on every channel anyway treat it how I would just a normal kick as I put it straight in on audio compress it as well Obviously, rename them, color code them how you are used to. Use uh, Ableton's external effects, and obviously, ping pong delay. Group them, glue compress them as I would any other set of drums.
use some distortion. There you go that is a basic routing within battery for about to get it out to individual audio tracks in Ableton Live sorry I got lost there messing around at the end I was just going through my process of how I normally do it real straightforward um, assign audio tracks locate it to battery 4 which is the MIDI channel that you want and then set each individual one to the stereo pair, do them in succession, and then when you go through it's going to bring them in order. All you do is right click, output, direct out, and then choose the stereo output that you want for each one. Obviously if you've got, as I said before, if you've got two kicks that you're happy with how they are inside battery, you can send them to the same channel. It opens up another world, another world of possibilities. But yeah, for now that's it. Make sure you check out my Facebook and Google Plus page if you've enjoyed this. It's Sound Design Tutorials. Best way to get hold of me if you've got any questions about this or any of the synths that I use is to tweet me at Sound Design Tuts. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.